Hey, what's up guys? My name is Zachariah and I want to show you how I made this video right here. Check this out. It's a photoception video is what I'm calling it. Bada boom, here comes the best part. We're going to zoom right back in. Wait for it. Boom, it loops. It loops. I love looping videos. I think those are super awesome. And uh, so every year, this is something me and my wife do ever since our anniversary. Ever since our anniversary? ever I guess, yeah, ever since our first anniversary, we take a photo of us holding our wedding photo. That was taken by Luke Porter. Shout out to Luke Porter. Good job on that, man. And then every year, we just take a picture of us holding the picture of us holding the picture. And now we're four years deep, and it's starting to look pretty cool. And it's getting to a point, as you can see right here, where it's just too small on that original wedding photo and so I wanted a cool way to capture all of those years and there's not really anything on YouTube that shows you how to do something like this and uh, I posted this on TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube and it blew up for some reason the past couple days on Instagram. Uh, last time I checked it was like 425,000 views and I don't, I literally have less than 500 followers on Instagram but if you want to go follow me, link in the description. Um, it blew up. Um, and people have been asking me how I did this. And so I thought the best way to um, show you how I did it was literally show you how I did it. So first thing you're going to need is a picture frame. So you're going to want to get a picture frame. Got, got this from Walmart. I think it was maybe 10 bucks. I probably, in hindsight, should have gotten something a bit better quality because I feel like this thing's like falling apart on me. But so far, so good. Because um, it definitely will look better if you're using the same picture frame throughout the throughout these photos. So got the picture frame. And then another thing you're going to need, because if you just took a picture of this and tried to zoom into this, it's going to be super pixelated. So you want to make sure that you have the uh, the other photos as well. And I literally printed this out at Walmart, not figuratively at all. It was literally uh, printed these out at Walmart and um, boom, there's the next one every year. I've held onto these and that came in handy because then I took a photo of each of these pictures individually, as I'll show you and uh, was able to mask and put this video together and you don't lose that pixelation as you're zooming in and zooming out. Um, so you're gonna want photos of your photos. So first to start out, let's go ahead and open a new project. We do not need to save this. New composition, uh, you can name this if you want. You totally don't have to. Um, we're going to make this 1080 by 1920. That'll give you that nice vertical video that's very popular right now with reels. It used to not be cool to do that vertical video, but now it's all the hype. So um, we'll do that. Um, you can make this, if you want to make this a normal vertical or horizontal video, you can do that too. Um, for the sake of this video, 1080, 1920, 24 frames per second is what I like to use. You can make that 30 if you want. Uh, press OK. All right, we got our composition here. Very nice. And now we're going to draw in or import our photos, which I do have right here, these pictures. So, uh, not that one. Come on. Wow. All right. So, here we go. Yep. So, we got the photos of our photos, like so. Then I got this cement looking thing that I'll talk about later. Um, you can make that something different if you want. Cool, and we will take all of these and drag them right into our composition, like so. Very nice. All right, and then we got this first image. Um, let's go ahead, if you press Control or Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, and then press the minus button, that'll zoom out, press the plus to zoom in. Um, hold down spacebar, brings up this little hand tool can drag around the document easier. But we're gonna grab this guy here. Hold down shift while you're um, resizing this so you don't distort. Hold down shift, yeah, that's a lot better. Cool, all right. Here we go. Um, so this is pretty much gonna be a lot of masking. We're gonna be doing a lot of masking and uh, placing these photos within this main photo. And I found it really easy when I was making uh, when I was making this originally to start with the last one that you'll see 
and work our way backwards. Cool. So first thing we're going to do is grab this pen tool up here, um, or you can press a G. If you hover over it, it'll show you the shortcut for it, but we're going to click the pen tool and we will come up here and we are going to mask this out. I would have loved to be able to use this living room scene. I would have loved to have this be the final shot and like be in this room, but I didn't give myself enough margin here. See that how it just cuts off and the way that I zoom out in this um, leaves a lot of room on the top and on the bottom here. Um, so it just didn't look good. So I have to crop this out. Boom, just like that. Let's hide these other layers for now. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, so we crop it out just like that. Now what we're going to do is go in and we're going to crop this out. And we're just going to keep the frame because we're going to use the photo of our photo um, to place inside here. Cool. All right, so let's go. We will, again, make another. I think we can just use this right away. Yeah, perfect. Just like this. Clicking in the corners. Um, press Control plus to zoom in a little bit. Just like that. I do have this on a third resolution. Let's make that full. That'll make it a little easier to see our corners. Bada boom, going right up here. This is going to be the easiest one. It's very straightforward. Um, and you can notice that nothing changed when I finished that. That's because you got to click this little drop down air. Actually, don't do that. Check out the shortcut. Press M for mask. Um, we want to use the yellow one. So here, this took me forever to figure out how to do. It's something so simple. And I, I just couldn't figure it out. Um, it took me like 10 minutes. But you're going to press this add button. Make this add say subtract. And it makes it disappear. So now we just have this nice frame, which is very, very nice and nifty. So now let's go ahead and look at our next layer. Let's zoom out a little bit, actually a lot of bit. Um, let's see. Click on this second layer. Sweet. And we will hold down shift, keep our proportions right. Zoom back in here. And let's place this inside of this guy. Um, yeah, I think we make this a little smaller. Use the arrow keys, you can nudge this around. Hmm, let's go like right. Is that right? Nope, you can see a little bit of the carpet there. Make it a little bigger. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do something like that. That's nice. And then we are going to um, take that pen tool again. And with this layer selected, we're just going to click around here just to hide that carpeting. I just use my iPhone to take these photos too. Nothing, nothing special. And so we'll just hide that there. And then another thing, let's go ahead and get out of the way is let's go up to layer. Um, go to new. Let's bring in a camera. Um, these settings should all be pretty basic and should work just fine. Press OK. Um, oh, and I'll, yeah, I'll show you why it popped up this warning. Because um, this camera can only affect 3D layers. And the way we make our images 3D is by this little... Um, I was going to point at the screen with my actual hand, but I uh, used my, yeah, my pointer. Um, the cursor, look at this right here. You got this 3D layer. We're going to check box. Click these boxes here and make all of these 3D layers. So now our camera, if we go and click this up here, this pan, we can now move our camera around and it's moving our document around. We can also come over here to our dolly towards and we'll be able to zoom in. And this is what we're going to be able to use later on for our panning when we edit this um, to zoom in and zoom out. Um, it'll also make it really nice for editing the rest of these masks. Um, so our shortcut for this, if you hover over, it shows it to you. That's a two for our pan under and a dolly towards is a three. So I'll be using that. So there's two. Move this around. Okay, cool. And then three, we can zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in. Uh, move this around a little bit. Zoom in a little more. 
and let's cut out this frame. Okay, with this layer selected, we'll go back up to our pen tool. We'll zoom in a little bit. Pen tool. Come here. And I found this doesn't need to be perfect. As long as you're close enough, this will be, this will turn out really good. Um, so for here, as we're starting to get like our hands over the frame and into the picture, um, there's a little bit more curves here. So we want to press and hold and we can like kind of alter that so we can go with the contours, if that's the right word. Um, and we just want to go with the frame here. Again, this doesn't need to be lined up perfectly. This will still look really good. So if you hold it down, and we can move it around. Yeah, to go right around the finger. Just like that. Awesome. Now we'll come all the way up. Hopefully this will work, I think. Let's grab this guy a little bit. Yeah. Let's zoom out. And again, it did not take it away yet because we need to click this. Press M and press subtract sweetness okay let's go back let's press two as for our camera let's press three actually let's zoom out okay cool and we will show this next layer um i will have this all time stamped in the description down below so if you don't want to watch me do every single um, picture frame, you can skip ahead to the next phase because this will pretty much be the same thing over and over. It's very tedious, but it is worth it in the end because the final result is so cool. Okay, let's press V to go to our selection tool or you can click it right up here. Selection tool. Okay. We'll come down. Hold down and shift. Keep that perspective that... I don't, that's not the word I was thinking of. Locking those proportions. And this one will need to actually rotate a little bit. So press R for rotation. And I think we want to use, yeah, the Z rotation. We'll go that way. Let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Again, holding down the space bar brings up that hand tool. Move around the document nicely. All right. And I need to make this smaller. Here we go. Yep, that's better. Wow, I need to rotate this again. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Very nice. Normally when I'm doing stuff like this, I'm listening to a podcast or something, but right now I just have you guys to talk to. Hopefully um, this is making sense. And it's something you're able to, man, be able to do yourself because this is something super cool to have as a keepsake, <clears throat> especially throughout the years, just being able to see, man, the growth of our family. It's very, very cool and very precious. Um, so that's good. I think that's lined up nicely. Man, we're rolling right through this. We can now, let's go in, press three. We'll zoom in some more. And we will crop this out now. It's gonna be a little more tricky with my daughter's fingers going across there, but I think it's pretty cool with the hands going across because I think it gives cool um, perspective. It gives you that cool depth. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Let's go to our pen tool. And let's start here. Go to the corners. Very cool. Oh, and now I'm making a, <laughs> I'm making a shape because my layer was not selected. So I press Control Z. Control Z is going to be your best friend through all of this. So select the layer first, and now we will go and we will crop. Here we go. Bada boom. Let's come down here. 
Again, holding it down. So you can give those curves. Very nice. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. That's a big curve. Um, pressing control Z on that one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not, like, perfect with this kind of stuff. Um, but it's just kind of playing around with it. Um, feeling things out until you get it right. That was actually really cool. Nice. All right, so now what we want to do is come down here, press M. Uh, this add, make it a subtract. Perfect. Let's show our next layer. Where's that? We can hide that one. Now we can bring this one into place. Let's select it. Which one are we working on? There we go. Very nice. Press V, selection tool. Make it super small. So we can fit into this frame. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to want to rotate this one again, too. So press R for rotation. Grab the Z rotation. Let's go this way. I'm sure there's people watching this who are very well versed in After Effects and you're like, why are you doing it this way? If you have better ways of doing some of this stuff, please let me know down in the comments below because I would love to learn. I would love to learn some new tips and tricks on maybe how to do this faster or more seamless. Um, I do think it's important, like not skipping around or like doing some fast cuts. Um, I think if you're willing to watch this, I think it can be very beneficial to see people's process and just how they do something from start to finish but again the timestamps are in the description so if you want to jump ahead totally do that too let's see make it a little smaller because i'm cutting off my daughter's head there we go um and look down here um this was a couple years after this picture was taken. It started to deteriorate. So if you can take those photos, uh, the sooner the better when they're like in good condition. Because I don't want to show that in this. Let's just make it a little bigger. Man, I'm going to cut off my head. I'd rather cut off my head than her head. So, yeah, I feel like that's good. <clears throat> Let's go back to three. So we can see how this is lining up. Yeah, this is cool. Um, I, let's hide this guy. Which one is that on? I want to make a mask real quick on this guy now too. So we can hide that carpet. Boom. Doesn't need to be anything special. Then I do it. Um, M. Nope, did not want to do that. Let's try this one. Let's make this one add. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. <clears throat> and then if you got coffee, it's always good to have some coffee while you're working on stuff like this too. <clears throat> okay. Very nice. We're almost there. Let's see. Mm. M. Oh. Press M on this guy. Yep, you press subtract there. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm all messed up now. Subject. What am I doing? Um, now 
I'm confusing myself. Hmm. That is what I want gone. Oh, there we go. That was super weird. Okay. But we got it resolved. So that's great. So we'll come into this guy. Right? Because that's the one we're seeing. Okay, cool. Let's go back to three. Zoom into this. Got two more to go. Two more. Here we go. All right. Press two. Let's move this. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so now we will. Crop this guy out. Make sure it's selected. Yep, cool. Boom. Boom. Bada boom. Another tip when you're taking these photos, if you choose to do an anniversary photo like me and my wife did or are doing, uh, apparently <laughs> with all of the views that uh, this has gotten recently. A lot of people have been very uh, active in voicing their opinions, thinking that, or I guess saying that our kiss has gotten worse <laughs> as it's gone on. Um, so when you're taking these photos, just try to not lose the passion, as uh, one commenter said. Uh, try not to lose the passion in the kiss. Oopsies, now it's being weird. It's being really weird. Okay, I got a bunch of these. We, that's all right. We can fix this. But yeah, don't lose the passion in the kisses. But you be the judge. Let me know if you think the same thing. Because initially when we take these photos, we're like smashing each other's faces. And then we'd like overcorrect, I guess. Because it doesn't look very photogenic when our noses are just like smashing each other's faces. Um... So we take the photos again, and we, I guess, pull too far apart. So we definitely got to redeem ourselves with the year five one. Okay. Here we go. Um, M. Go here, subtract. Yes, very nice. Reveal the other layer. Zoom back out. Got to make it smaller. Press V. Oh, here we are. Boom. Hmm. Oh, we want to rotate this one. R for rotation. Oops, nope. Again, control Z, lifesaver. Here we go. We're so close to be able to like start animating this. Yish, very cool. Um. Let's press. Three, zoom into this a little more. Two, move it down. Yeah, cool. Let's make it a little bigger. <laughs> yep, this is very, very nice. Um, Awesome, so last one. Here we go. Let's see here. Grab this pen tool again. Layer selected, click in these corners. This is another thing that's really nice with replacing these is when we took this photo, 
I was using my DSLR and my I had, it's very not very but a slight shallow depth of field and so this was actually blurry so this was all in focus here but this was all blurry um, so being able to replace these photos and give clarity back to this very helpful makes it look better awesome boom boom oops again let's not zoom into it let's um use our camera that's what it's there for so we don't get all that pixelation here we go okay back to the pen tool for whatever reason this likes to just go in the last spot it was so this will be fun to try and finagle this but man just play around with it and keep tweaking and you'll get something it does not need to be perfect at all oh my gosh and this is going to be very tedious um it's fine Here we go. Ooh, that was a nice curve. Oh yeah, very nice. For whatever reason, it goes behind it too. It's making this very complicated. Grab our next one. Cool. Hmm. This might look a little more boxy than I really want it to. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Almost there, guys. Okay. Bada boom. How many times have I said bada boom? That's kind of annoying. I will stop saying that. Ugh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think we're home right here. Connect it. Did it do it? Let's see. Press M. Mask. Oh, no, did I not complete it? Where did the mask go? Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's click this guy again, and now let's complete it. There we go. Okay. Whew. So now subtract. Boom. And now we can put this last photo in here. Home stretch. Let's see where you at. V. Hmm, okay, let's, it's <laughs> like too big, so I guess let's press S for scale, and let's just bring it down. There we go, something we can actually grab. Cool. Drag this into place. That's our last one, guys. No masking needed to be done on this. Set it in place, and then we can set our animation on our camera. Um, rotation, that's what I need, R, rotation. Let's rotate this a little bit. Oh. Very cool. Uh, let's press, yeah, three. Zoom in here, press two. Go around, okay. OK, 
Okay. See, I mean, this isn't perfect, but you guys can tweak and go crazy with it. I still feel like that's decent. That looks all right. Um, but to your own discretion. However much, however little. As long as you're happy with it, I think we're good. Okay. Just do a quick zoom out. We're starting to get there. Cool. All right. Move this around. And then I will also, let's just go ahead and turn on our cement. Um, I don't like how bright this is. So let's go ahead and now make sure nothing's selected. Let's click this rectangle tool. We're just going to make a black box. We're going to bring it down underneath everything. Come on. There we go. Underneath that. And then I want to press T for opacity on this wall layer. And I'm going to bring this down a lot. Yeah. Just like that. Um, yep. And we have the 3D layer turned on, which is great. Um, but I do want to bring this back in Z space a little bit. So if we press P for position, take this third box here, and we're just going to move this back, give it some depth. So it looks like it's further back behind the frame. But again, I wish I could have used that living room scene. Really, really do, because I feel like it would not look, I feel like this is the part that looks the cheesiest on the video that I made, is the cement background. Um, let's go to S for scale. Why is it? Oh, <laughs> that's what I need to do is the, uh, shape layer did not cover all of the composition. So grab this selection tool and just make this a little bigger. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right. Now we are moving on to animating our camera. Okay. So first things first, let's go to the beginning of our timeline. We're going to scroll up here. What is this shape layer? We don't need that. Delete that. When did that get there? Okay. <clears throat> we are going to, again, using two and three, we're going to zoom in to the start. Oops. Way too much. Okay. We're going to zoom in here. Yes. We're going to get our starting shot. I feel like it would look best if we don't see any of this frame. Like that. Yeah. Oof. You can see a little bit, but that's fine. Pretty sure on my post, originally it had a little bit of this frame in there. But I really like this shot. So we are now going to... Um, just open up this layer. Let's go to transform and we want point of interest and we want position So we're going to add keyframes there cool And let's come out. I know we made this 30 seconds long, but we're only going to use like 20 seconds And let's go to like around the 11 second mark And let's go ahead and just zoom this baby out um, By pressing three we're now going to zoom out because we had keyframes in the beginning. It's adding new keyframes automatically. Cool. And now we can use two and move this down a little bit. Go back to three, zoom it out. And let's find kind of where our most zoomed out shot is at. So let's go like right there. Cool. We're starting to it looks very flat right now but that's going to change because we're going to add this thing called motion blur and it's going to smooth everything out okay so we're starting to get there and all this stuff isn't an exact science this is man to your preference how you how fast you wanted to zoom out how much you wanted to zoom out um one thing i want to do real quick is take this Copy, let's control or command C, 
and let's control V, command V, because this is how we're going to get that loop. And so we're just going to take um, page down and page up is how you just go frame by frame. Don't use the arrow keys. That will just nudge the image around. Don't want that. Okay, here we go. So we'll take this guy. So we got the ending there. Cool. I also want to just control copy this guy. Because I'd like to have this just kind of showing this final image uh, just for a little bit. So we're going to come over here maybe at the two second mark I feel like is good. We'll add this. So it'll kind of float. Um, but I also want to still have movement. Let's still have movement in it. So we're just going to make this a little smaller or zoom out more. Yeah, just like that, just to give it slight movement here. So if we're looking at this, I don't need this on full right now. Let's just go to third just for rendering sake. This is cool. There's one more camera move that I added in mind that will I'll show you what I did here. Just a slight pan. And again, this is very flat. We're going to add that motion blur and that's the magic sauce that really makes this light up. Whew. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, cool. There's also another thing we need to do. So on these, actually, let's just turn motion blur on now. So uh, we're going to close these layers real quick to make this easier. All right. And then we are going to enable motion blur. So all these check boxes, just click all of this, turn motion blur on. Then we can activate and deactivate motion blur by Pressing this button here when it's blue, that means it works. So look at that, it's already given this blur, which we don't want on the very first um, frame. So we're gonna open our, yeah, let's open that back up so that we can highlight this, right click. We wanna come down to keyframe assistant and we wanna do, I think easy ease, yeah, easy ease out to start. So it'll give us a nice clean look. Bada boom, start zooming out. I feel like this should be a little faster. Zooming out. Cool. And then when we come back, we need to, yeah, because that's not clean yet. So let's come to these guys. We will, yeah, see how there's so much blur on that. Highlight this, and we want to, on this one, I'm pretty sure it's easy ease in. Yes, okay, cool. So now if we watch this ending and watch this. Yes, super clean, oh my gosh. Very happy with that. So watch that again. Yes, okay, so good. There's one slight thing I wanna do here is just, I wanna see more of, um, the frame this last frame so i want to add let's hold down shift and press page down nope let's press page up to go back that like moves you back like five frames something like that and we'll do let's say like two times so it's like 10 frames if my math is correct i was homeschooled so math isn't always the easiest thing for me to do hold on shift press page down two times um did you see what I did there? I added keyframes there. I don't know if I explained that. Add some keyframes here. Go forward. And I want to change the point of interest a little bit. So we are going to whoop, move this up. And then we are also going to move it over this way a little bit. So we can get my son's face in there, Ezra. Very good. Um, Nothing too crazy not like a super fast let's see what that does actually okay okay even that's a little fast a little ah, that's kind of cool okay so you can do that you don't have to do that you could just keep it as literally just zoom in zoom out zoom back in you don't need to add any of those point of interest changes um, but I just think it looks really nice and so we're pretty much done Yeah, I'm really happy with this. 
So he just has slight movement throughout the entire thing. That fluidity, I think, is very, very cool. Let me zoom right back in. Boom, dude. Um, I have some ideas on what I want to do to make this better for our year five one. Um, so I, I, I need to test some things out. I won't talk about that right now. Um, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the like button if this was actually helpful, but hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I do post our year five video. Cause this is something I'm not stopping anytime soon. This is going to be, this is a long game. This is a long game type thing. And, um, if you're going to be doing something like this, um, it's so, it's such a cool keepsake to have and just to see, man, the years it's four years have gone by already. And just to see the growth of our family in this time, super, super cool. But I do have some things to make this look a little better. So subscribe, like this video. That would be very helpful. And I do really hope this was helpful. I know there were some times where I just was silent and wasn't talking at all. And I'm glad you stuck around for it. Or you just skipped ahead and it was fine anyway. Yeah, so now you would just export this out. And you would upload it to all of your favorite social medias. Which, by the way, all my links are in the description. Follow me. That would be super awesome. I'd love to, um, if you have any questions, let me know. And, um, yeah. From, uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm just, it is a very mesmerizing thing. And I'm just super happy that this blew up on, uh, on Instagram. Because it's something I put a lot of work into. And it's not just using some trendy sound. But I'm super proud of it. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.